Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. A former police recruit claims a barbaric hazing ritual during fight day combat training led to both his legs being amputated. Victor Moses, 29 is suing the city of Denver and 13 police officers and paramedics who allegedly forced him to continue and ignored warning signs. The eager recruit claimed he was knocked to the ground during the needlessly violent training, hitting his head on a tile floor and blacking out. Despite this, he was forced to continue or be struck from the academy, and collapsed several more times and lost consciousness. Moses was pressured to continue, with officers picking him up and setting him back on his feet, before paramedics standing by were asked to check him out the lawsuit claimed. Moses checked on a medical form that he had the sickle cell trait, adding, both my parents I have the trait but never had any problems. The condition puts him at an increased risk of medical complications from high-intensity exercise, including rhabdomyolysis, which causes muscles to break down. Moses endured four agonizing months in hospital where the surgeons had to repeatedly cut away chunks of his flesh in futile attempts to save his legs. He dictated in heartbreaking detail the incredible pain he suffered, the nightmares and flashbacks he still has, and his frequent thoughts of suicide. It is extremely hard to find the will to keep living. Saying my life has been ruined is a complete understatement, he said. I had everything going for me in life and it was all taken away. I have had many thoughts of not wanting to live. Moses said during the training he had very low blood pressure and complained that his legs were cramping, according to the lawsuit. The symptoms are danger signs for people with his condition. Nevertheless, paramedics cleared Moses to return to training, which the suit claimed was a decision made to support the police. The lawsuit claimed paramedics cleared Moses to continue the training, even though he was not able to stand or walk to the next round. Instead, a trainer brought the ground fighting drill to Moses and got on top of him, after which he was supposed to fight his way out of the hold for two minutes. Instead, Moses soon said he could not breathe became limp and unresponsive, and was taken to the hospital, according to the lawsuit. The lawsuit explained Moses applied to the Denver Police Department in early 2022 after moving from Florida where he earned a science degree. He excelled through his first three months of academy training, including strenuous gym workouts, and informed the department of his condition. The ambulance report even noted point reported that he had sickle cell trait but not sickle cell. Moses' lawsuit noted that instructors are required to immediately stop a drill if they have reason to believe a participant's health or safety is in jeopardy, but did not. The lawsuit claimed instructors and the DPD tried to cover up what happened by claiming never provided information to indicate he had any medical concerns or restrictions. Police told the media at the time it was caused by a pre-existing and undisclosed medical condition. Instructors, police officials, and paramedics named in the lawsuit also repeatedly told ER doctors Moses did not suffer direct trauma. ER Dr. Musi charted that he met with the paramedics and with a police academy instructor, stating that, repetitive times the instructor denied direct trauma to the chest abdomen pelvis or suffocation, and said that there was no significant traumatic mechanism of injury, according to the lawsuit. Many of the reports also left out Moses hitting his head on the tile floor after being pushed off the mat, despite many witnesses the lawsuit claimed. But Moses was backed up by his fellow recruits, who banded together in a group chat and resolved to tell the truth. What got me was the lack of attention from the paramedics, they should have stepped in way sooner and stopped it, one wrote. The part that blows my mind is after, M, Osses woke back up they tried to make him finish it again, another added. Once I saw him wrestling after going down and passing out it was totally F asterisk asterisk kid. Moses legit was out cold woke back up. And then they let him go straight back into the wrestling portion and then passed back out cold. Kirk Duhan wrote on the recruit chat board, to me this seemed like a r, it, of.